adding error bars using Microsoft Excel for Mac. Here is some data from a previous video. We've now added our standard deviation in temperature with unit, with consistent accuracy, and with the accuracy or significant figures matching that of the averages. We now need to add error bars reflecting the standard deviation to our graph. We go to Chart Layout, Error Bars. Now don't choose any option, go straight to Error Bar Options. Here we go. We want both and go to Custom, Specify Value. Before we do this, we'll just move this slightly out of the way. Specify Value, plus that range, and minus that range. Here we go, we have our error bars. Okay, for some reason it always gives us these error bars as well. Select, delete, here we go. A quick check to whether you've done it correct. This should be big, this should be small. Big, small, they're different sizes, they match our data. Our last job is two-handed click, format axis, bring this down to match the bottom of our lowest error bar. Here we go, and this axis could stop at 8, same again, maximum value, reset our R squared value, and here we go, a graph, XY scatter, line of best fit, measure of how well the line fits, and error bars to show the spread of our data.